G'day folks. Today, we're gonna see if we can factory restore this Dell Studio 540 computer, which means everybody's favorite operating system is about to be reloaded. Let's get into it. Now, a little bit of a preamble before I get into this video, just because I feel it's important to say for those who like the backstories of these machines to an extent. I got this machine from work, obviously, for free because it was otherwise going to be recycled. It's a Intel Core 2 Quad Q9400 with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 1 terabyte hard drive. And this machine was not happy when I was trying to start it up. Uh, basically, the Windows Vista installation that's on here currently, which is the original Dell installation, surprisingly, was never upgraded to Windows 7, for example. That was not working at all. Like It was having such a problem with even finding its own operating system files that it would just show the Windows Vista startup screen and then reboot. It wasn't a blue screen, it would just reboot. So something was clearly wrong with the file system. But the recovery, the restore your machine or whatever the heck it was called, I think it was just repair your computer on the Vista boot up menu, that would start up, but it could not find the C drive. It could see the recovery, but it could not see the C drive. So, you know, I was fumbling around last night and I accidentally hit start up repair which, okay, no big deal. So it started to tell me that there was disk errors and it was gonna try to repair them. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna let this run because it's gonna do more good than harm because either way I was gonna be able to restore the system. And it did, it did perform some uh, error fixes, which was good. Um, it was able to start up to an extent. It would always get stuck on a black screen with a mouse cursor and it would never proceed farther. So something must have totally trashed the operating system that's on here to the point where it's not even starting up now. I don't know if it was a virus or if that's just simply a corrupted install, who's to say. Uh, but at least now when I went into the Windows Vista repair your computer screen, it could see the install. I could see user accounts and they were password protected. So go figure, I had to go in and clear the passwords out. So I had to make a live Linux USB because, well, that's just what I'm more familiar with in an extent like this. I mean, I'm usually preferring of the Windows method where you go in and you replace the, I think it was the setHC.exe file with command prompt and you rename it the same file name. And then when you go to press the left shift key five times, it would open command prompt instead of telling you to enable sticky keys. But the problem was, of course, I couldn't even start up the operating system. So that was a useless feature to me. So I just used the chntpw utility on Linux that you can use in the command line to clear out any passwords, enable the administrator account, which is usually disabled on Vista and later. And I was hunky dory. I was able to get this machine to log into the administrator account because I was just going to bypass all the other accounts. There's just got a bunch of garbage on there, which is going to be erased anyway. And yeah, let's just go with this and let's see if this machine is actually going to work. Surprisingly, the Linux method actually got it to work, even though it was a painfully slow experience because my flash drive kind of sucks. So I will say also, for those who have skipped past this point, do not comment about the quality. I'm going to use the wide angle camera because otherwise, well, you're not going to really be able to see the screen. And well, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this anyway. So let me reposition this and we'll get started. Actually, back here would work pretty well too. Let me just make sure that it's lined up. Yep. Okay. So let me get my TV turned on here since it's my most convenient display right now. And let me grab my keyboard. Now let's turn on the computer. You might also know if you've watched a prior video of mine that I had to replace this computer's power supply because it was completely toast. So that was not fun. Uh, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, so I replaced it with an equivalent wattage. Uh, there was a power man power supply. It had a six pin PCI Express power connector on it as well. And as you can see, it obviously makes the machine start up now. So obviously spam F8 on startup, you hit repair your computer. And in the case of a Windows Vista OEM system, it will load its recovery volume. Not every system is configured to be this way because uh, normally Vista, I think it was not by default where it will give you the option to repair your computer. That wasn't until I think service pack one or two that they added that functionality that of course was standard in Windows 7. Now I will preface annoyingly the HDMI output. While it is at native resolution of this TV, everything gets cropped into the middle. So I may actually have to put the camera forward just a little bit. So you might actually be able to read what's on the screen. So yeah, it might get a little soft, 
So I do apologize about that. I'm gonna try to see if I can make this work here, but obviously no guarantees. So it never showed this part before because it couldn't access the windows volume because it was so badly corrupted in a sense it couldn't even see itself. So I'm not gonna show the usernames because they're personal but we just have the administrator, that's all we need. No password, that's how I set it up. So boom, we are in. And as you can see here at the bottom of the screen, we have Dell Factory Image Restore. If anybody's seen my Dell Dimension E521 factory restoration video, you'll know that icon looks very familiar. That is Dell's Windows Vista era factory image restore utility from copyright 2006, or maybe 2005, it's just, really small text i can't even read it but i'm gonna assume it's 2006 maybe so five i don't know welcome to dell factory image restore this utility will restore your system software to the state it was in when it left the factory in order to re return the system to the factory state all personal files will be overwritten which is what i intend to do warning this utility will reformat your operating system hard drive partition prior to restoring the factory image this means data on that partition will be deleted and cannot be recovered to confirm this action, please check the box below and press the next button. You can tell that this was using XP icons. And that should be everything that we have to do. Everything from here should be automatic and it will tell us when it's done. So I guess I'll time lapse this next section so we can watch the wonderful progress bar. <laughs> Goodness, factory image successfully restored and I basically got the camera adjusted basically in the nick of time I was trying to get it a little bit more straight because I looked at it and was just like eh I mean for a time lapse it's probably fine whatever your operating system and factory installed applications have now been restored to the state they were in when they left the factory you will need to reinstall any applications that you have added since you received the system press the finish button below to reboot your system with the obligatory duplicate text press finish to reboot your system as if you didn't just tell me up here so, okay, I appreciate that. All right, and away we go. Now, I probably should turn the volume up on the TV just in case they have any kind of cool stuff to play. Turn it up a little bit more. And then turn that air conditioner off. Because it is kind of loud. So, I mean, I don't need that causing a bunch of problems. Hey, and we made it. Perfect. Let me see if I can reposition the camera a little bit, see if I can make this look better. All right, I straightened it a little bit more, so now it should be a lot better. So, this is the reason why I decided to restore this machine. If I didn't mention it before, this is OEM Windows Vista Ultimate, which you don't often see, especially from the Vista era. So somebody had to have forked out a lot of money for that upgrade option, but it is OEM, so here we go. Windows Vista Service Pack 1 was preloaded, and I don't have any of the CDs for this computer, unfortunately, so, you know, what I've got is what I've got, so I better hope that it works. Choosing a username and picture, I think for now I'm just going to put Dell as the username, and I'm not going to bother with the password. I uh, will call this uh, Dell Studio 540, since it is technically connected to the network. And I suppose we'll use this fancy blue background from Dell. Don't try to install updates. I'm not in central time. I live in the superior time zone of the Pacific time zone, and I'm probably gonna get a lot of people commenting about that. And because I had to use Linux, the clock is wrong, as it usually ends up being because it's really kind of annoying that it does that. I am at home, and why thank you, Windows Vista. I am very appreciative that you existed for whatever reason. All right, let's press start. 
So looks like the screen is in 1024 by 768 resolution. It probably doesn't recognize this TV properly, either that or it's a limitation of the HDMI output on the integrated video of this computer's motherboard. Since that's what I'm using, I could have used the VGA, but then uh, I don't think I would have gotten any sound output because I don't have an aux cable connected to the TV, obviously, and I would not feel like trying to get that hooked up because that would have been a pain in the butt. So, uh, convenience sake, I'm just gonna use HDMI. So it might look a little goofy, but it actually helps for recording because then I can get the entire output in frame. Oh, the obligatory performance check. Getting it done just got more fun. Time is precious, more than ever. You need a system that is simple, easy, natural, and enjoyable. So you can get things done and focus on what matters most in your life. Like waiting for a Windows update on Windows 10 because that's always enjoyable. Connect and communicate like never before. It's now safer and easier to connect with the people who matter most. Whether you choose voice, video, photos, or text, you've got an amazing array of options with Windows Vista. Turn everyday moments into lifetime memories. With simplified tools for uploading, cropping, cutting, and creating photos, Windows Vista makes it easier and more enjoyable to share your favorite memories. Connect, play, have fun. With Windows Vista, you've got the hottest titles, the latest features, the most vivid 3D graphics, and so many ways to connect you more safely with the worldwide gaming community. Who remembers DirectX 10? That was a big deal. The power to find everything. With Windows Vista, you can quickly find programs, files, and email, and it's easier to search the internet. I will say that was one of the big features of Vista was the search. It was actually not too bad. A more secure environment. Spend less time fixing problems and enjoy a faster, more reliable online experience with Windows Vista. Well, not these days, because uh, SHA-1 Windows updates have been turned off, so I don't think that's gonna be much true anymore. <laughs> and now it's just basically lubing around at this point. So we'll let this finish. We'll see if there's any cool Dell custom things, but I highly doubt it. And here we go, into the desktop. Well, maybe not quite yet, but you know, whatever. Hey, and there's the desktop. We got a eBay shortcut, that's interesting. All right, to connect using an existing network or ISP, oh, and there goes the display resolution. Oh, okay, I actually found the native resolution of the TV. So that's pretty nice, I suppose. And is it cut off on the camera? Not really. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're connecting to an existing network because obviously I already have it connected to the internet. Your computer comes with interactive gadgets that are organized in a sidebar on the right side of your screen as shown here, which that's obviously not what it looks like. That's from Windows Vista, I think beta two. Gadgets are many applications with a variety of possible uses. They can be calculators, games, sticky notes, and more. You can minimize or close the sidebar at any time to remove gadgets from your desktop, and you can also customize your sidebar by adding and removing gadgets. Microsoft Windows Vista can help you transfer your music, photos, email, and settings from your previous computer. There are several ways to transfer data depending on the capabilities of your old computer. This may be a time-consuming process depending on the method of transfer and how much data you plan to transfer, which I'm not going to do. All right, and here we are. So we've got, what looks like a little Dell toolbar thing at the top here, that's interesting. They also put the recycle bin up here instead of it being on the desktop, so the recycle bin icon kind of disappeared there. What other things are there? We got Dell Data Safe Online, Real Tech Audio, obviously Windows Update, Defender, GMA, Dell Remote Access. Set up your Dell Remote Access account to easily and securely access and share computers and files when away from your home or office. No, thank you. Uh, I said no thank you. So, cool. And here we go. Dell Studio 540, Core 2 Quad Q9400 with eight gigabytes of RAM. Very nice, very nice. I've got a 4.0 on the Windows Experience Index, obviously because the gaming graphics are kind of lackluster, but everything else ranks a 5.9, so that's pretty cool. But very interesting that they ordered this with Ultimate. I'm actually surprised by that. Um, Normally a machine like this you would have seen like maybe Windows Vista Home Premium. But it does have its own dedicated recovery volume. And as you can see, obviously a one terabyte hard drive. That would have been a lot of space back in the day. Probably about 2009, I think, was when this machine was made. I wouldn't know for sure, but you know, it's whatever. So yeah, 
it seems pretty snappy. Obviously, Windows Vista, it's got the usual array of guff. So you get your usual sample music. Doesn't look like there's anything additional uh, included with that. Uh, I don't think there's any additional sample photos. Yeah, there's just the usual Windows Vista ones. But we do have what looks to be quite a number of pre-installed things. So real quickly, I'm just gonna roll through these because my phone's about to die, so I don't wanna go killing it necessarily. So we got Power DVD, we got Adobe Reader 9, all the usual Windows Vista things. We got, looks like Dell Dock is what it was called. I think that might be just a rebranded like Star Dock, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's a Getting Started Guide, Dell Data Safe for backups, Dell Remote Access, Dell Video Chat. This does have a Dell Wi-Fi card, so it has that goofy external dongle that's connected with Torx screws and has that external Dell branded box for Wi-Fi. It does probably work fine. It's just kind of a cumbersome experience. Some Windows Vista business extras, because of course this was Ultimate, so it included literally everything. Uh, you do get the games. You also get a Wild Tangent game, which I'm probably not gonna open up, at least not right now. Uh, maintenance, it comes with a trial, it looks like, of is that Office, I don't know if this is Office Ultimate 2007, I don't remember which edition it was, but Enterprise had like access and other stuff, so maybe this is like Home and Business 2007 or something like that, I don't remember. A SQL Server 2005, Real Tech, because uh, this has a gigabit NIC on the motherboard. Roxio Creator for the, uh, you know, it's like a Nero clone. There's some of the Wild Tangent preloaded guff, and it also looks like we have some of the additional Windows Live uh, features, basically. Inside of the Games Explorer, oh goodness, it shows basically everything as I figured it probably would. Uh, but yeah, all that, most of this stuff's probably gonna require Wild Tangent, so I'm not gonna actually play it in this video anyways, because it's probably gonna not work. So I guess before I close out this video, I'm going to go see what else comes included. I don't know if there's any additional wallpapers, probably not. Well, actually there's a few different ones that are included. So now you get the usual, looks like the three Dell patterns, and then this one, and then I had this one set on my Dimension E521. Looks like that one also came bundled in. So basically just the typical Dell Windows Vista wallpapers alongside all the other ones that Microsoft preloaded. I'm curious because this is running Vista Ultimate. Does it have the sound effects preloaded? I don't think it does because those were Windows Update extras. No, it does not have them. Okay, so I didn't think it did, but um, that makes sense. Um, we'll set that background just because why not? But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, I guess, Let's check the gadgets. No, there's nothing preloaded. It's just the usual Windows ones. Okay, well, that pretty much cleans that up. So, hopefully you like what you saw, and if you did, well then, you know what to press. If you didn't like this video so much, well then, well, you also know what to press. Get subscribed down below, click the bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. And, with that all having been said, thank you very much for coming to watch, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Mm -hmm.